Hi everyone, it's Vala from Online Combat Battalion with another quick video tutorial for you on how to use the side chat function in game so you can have text messages appear at the bottom left hand side of your screen which can add a bit of interesting stuff to your missions uh, with messages to your players. First thing you need is a playable unit so I've just placed down a playable unit can be anything you like and then place down another unit and this one can be AI or human, doesn't matter. And in this unit, we're going to open the unit um, variables by double clicking on that symbol above the player. Okay, in here we need to give this unit a call sign. Let's name him HQ for headquarters. Okay. So his call sign is HQ, which you'll be able to see now if you hover over the unit symbol above his head. Next thing we need to do is place down a trigger. can be any size that you like, but it needs to have a size. It can't be um, zero, so I've just got it at 32 by 18. For this, we set an activation of any player present so that when any um, human player passes into this trigger, this trigger will activate. In, uh, in the section with on activation, I've put in there HQ, which is the variable name of that other unit, then side chat, and then in inverted commas, the message that you want to have come up on the screen, and a semicolon to finish that off. So activation, any player, present, leave condition, should just have the word this in it, and then on activation, HQ, side chat, then your message. So when any player passes into that trigger, the message should be activated and you'll be able to see it at the bottom left hand corner of your screen. So we'll load into the game now and see how that works. Okay, so we're now boots on the ground. There's my company HQ player over there. And we're going to walk into that trigger now. And then you can see bottom left hand corner of the screen. HQ has said welcome to Rua. Your mission is to survive this patrol. Another way to do this is if you want the message coming from one of your human players, you just need to change a couple of things and you can have that happen as well. So if you have a look at my playing character here, I'll just open the variables for that. Okay, so the variable name of my unit is Ivan. So in variable name Ivan, this can be whatever word you want it to be. Um, my role description is the patrol commander, which is not relevant to this particular tutorial. So the variable name of the actual player which you get if you double click on the actual circle is Ivan and at the top if you click on the unit you will get a different set of variables you can edit. Okay so in the unit or the composition you can see we've got their call sign and at the moment it's alpha 11. I'm going to change that to say company commander and then click OK. In the trigger, what we need to change is instead of HQ saying the message, we need to use the variable name of the player that we've placed down. So my playable unit or any human playable unit's variable needs to be there. In this case, I've used Ivan and the same message. So now when the trigger is activated, instead of HQ giving the message to players, which would be this guy over here, it's actually my human player giving that message via the side chat. So we'll see how that works. Okay, so let's cross the trigger. And this time you'll see company commander and it will give my playing name because it's the human player that's giving this even though the variable name is different. So you've got company commander, OCB Valor. Welcome to real, your mission is to survive this patrol. So that's if you want to have any human player use the trigger. Um, 
give that human player's actual character a variable name and use that variable name in the trigger. Another thing you can do is if you have a particular message that you want to have come up in a particular area giving a warning or whatever um, let's say exactly the same trigger now we'll make it repeatable so every time this trigger is activated this message will pop up so remember my player's variable name is Ivan and then we've got the word side chat or one word or lowercase and I'll replace it with a different message be warned this area is crawling with enemy troops okay so we've got a different message and we've made the trigger repeatable let's see how that works so now when we cross into the trigger we'll get the message there we go company commander Valor be warned this area is crawling with enemy troops and now I'll run back so I'm out of the trigger and that message will disappear shortly okay so the message is now fading away and if we run into that trigger again there we go we've got the same message so you can have a welcome message for people who join the mission um, that the triggers there and it will fire every time a human player is inside that trigger so just to be clear again because it might be a little confusing or ambiguous is that the actual player character the, the variable name is Ivan the actual unit name is company commander but even though the variable name for the player is Ivan which is recognized by the code in the mission as being the person that the message is coming from your actual playing name will come up in the mission as well as your unit name so for example if I go back into the variables of this unit and change the name from company commander to mission maker you'll see that it will be different again and it will have Mission Maker, OCB Valor, then the message. Another cool thing you can do with the trigger, particularly if you don't want the trigger to fire straight away, and this is very simple to do, is you can set a timer value. So let's say 10, 10, and 10. That's seconds. Click OK. And then we'll go into the mission to see what that does. Okay, so the trigger's there, and before when we ran into the trigger, it activated straight away. But now it's got a 10 second timer on it. So we've actually gone into the trigger and run past it, but it's not going to go off straight away. And there we go. Be warned, this area is crawling with enemy troops. And you'll see that it's Mission Maker now, not Company Commander, because I changed the unit name of my unit. If anyone has any questions or comments with regards to this or you need it explained again, um, I can quite simply do that for you. Just let me know. Thanks for watching. Do uh, like and subscribe and share this video for more content. Thanks very much.